Hi, I'm Maddie Spencer, and I've been using ZBrush since 2003. Today at the ZBrush Summit, I'm going to share a tip with you on how you can use Frame Mesh under the Curve tools to create edge details on costume elements like panels on a spacesuit or edges on uh, hammered steel armor. So let's take a look at how this works. I have my alien on screen right now, and I've got just a generic body for the suit. Now this is actually the Nick Z mesh that comes pre-installed with ZBrush. I've just stretched the hands out and taken off the, the sort of body details and I've also deleted the head. So I'm going to go to my polygroups menu and I'm going to group visible. So there's nothing but a single polygroup here. Now I'm going to divide this mesh up a few times, maybe three times, just to give myself enough resolution that I can paint a nice crisp mask on here. And I'm just going to use the masking brush to paint some panels. And the mask panels are eventually going to become uh, panel loops. We're going to polygroup with these. So I just want to create some kind of interesting shapes here. And a nice thing uh, when you're doing something like this, I find, is sometimes you can get interesting shapes just by sort of following the underlying form of the anatomy, more or less. You don't have to exactly match it, but I'll sort of do a little panel over the abdominals and maybe do a panel here that sort of follows more or less the, the lateral oblique. Just helps give you a nice flow that works with the body, but it doesn't have to be, like I said, exactly the same shape as what the anatomy is underneath. It's just there to give you sort of a guide. So it's just an, a way that you can start. So I want to put a shoulder pad here. So I'm going to mask out the shoulder area. And then let's do a little mask here around the bicep. And I think it would be neat if we had a panel that sort of followed the extensor muscles here, the forearm. So let's bring this down here and maybe we'll do another panel this way that sort of follows the flexor muscles. There we go. And while we're at it, we'll just do a few more here. I'll do a, sort of a, a loop that comes around this way, sort of following the sartorius muscle and the vastus medialis. And we'll do another bigger panel out here on the side that kind of represents the side of the thigh here. And then, of course, I can erase out with Control-Alt if I overshoot that and paint too much of a mask in one particular area. There we go. And you don't have to worry about these being perfect because we're going to clean them up here in just a second. So now that I've got these masked out, I'm going to go to Tool, Polygroups, Group, Masked. There we go. Now if I clear my mask and go to Frame Mode, you can see I've got a, a polygroup for each of those areas that was previously masked. Now I'm going to go to the Geometry menu. I'm going to go to the Edge Loop sub-menu and I'll use Panel Loops. Now I'm going to turn my elevation down a little bit so I don't. It, that keeps it from sort of expanding too much off the surface. I am going to turn on thickness or turn up thickness to about, let's say, 0 0.07 for thickness. I don't want it to be too thick and I'm going to turn off double. I don't want it to be double-sided. So. Now I'm going to go ahead and just click, click Panel Loops, and I need to delete my lower subdivision levels. Don't forget that. Now I will click Panel Loops, and it's going to carve a panel loop around each one of those islands. Now, if you look at them, they're kind of messy. They don't have a nice, clean look about them. So what I'll do now is go to the Deformation submenu, and there is the Polish by Features slider here. If I turn that up, by default, it may not really appear to do anything, but if you turn off or just click the radio button here, oops, wrong one, click the radio button on Polish by Features. So now if I turn that up, I will get more of an effect. There we go. Make sure that it's an empty circle. There you go. So if I turn that up really high, you see that that really polishes things down and gives us a nice clean edge around that paneling. So now I'm going to control shift click on the inner shell. That would be kind of the undersuit and make sure that that's hidden. And I'm going to go to the sub tool menu, go to split and split hidden. And now that's split that inner suit out as its own sub tool. Now I've got a separate sub tool, which are just the panels and their thickness. If I go into frame mode, you can see that these still have their individual um, polygroups for the thickness and for the facing panels. So I'll turn frame mode off 
and I'll turn on visibility on that inner suit. And I'm going to select the inner suit and then I'm going to go to let's zoom out a bit so we can see it properly. I'm going to go to the surface noise plugin. We'll zoom in on that a little bit so we can see it. And I'm going to go to noise plugin. I just want to give this sort of an underlying texture. Noise plugin will open up the noise plug and it's actually opening up on my other screen here. So I've got multiple monitors. I'm going to have to sort of reduce my ZBrush size here. And now I'll open up the noise plugin and we'll drag that onto screen so you can see it. I'm going to select the hex tiles. So we'll go to hex tile, click OK, and then I'm going to take ba mixed basic noise down to zero and I'm going to take my plugin scale down so I can see it and then take the strength and turn that up. And let's invert that so it's going in instead of out. Yeah, there we go, that's what I want. And then click OK. So now I've got uh, so this hex tiling that's on the undersuit. Now if I turn on my paneling, we've got the paneling separate. So I'm going to Alt-click on the paneling. Now what I want to do is I'm going to create sort of a piping that goes around those panels. So it's sort of like uh, there's some sort of seaming or some tubing that's uh, just an extra little touch of detail on this. So what I will do is I will Control, shift click on the panels and that's going to hide the panel thickness. Now I'm going to do another split hidden. So I've got a separate subtool now for the thickness of the panels, but if I go to solo mode you see that we're actually seeing just the panels themselves. Now I'm going to go to the stroke menu. I'm going to open up curve modifiers and curve functions. So this is all of our curve options here. Under curve functions, you see I've got frame mesh. Now I can frame border, polygroups, or creased edges. I'm just going to use border. If I click that, you see every separate polygroup or island of polygons has a frame, which is a curve. Now I'm going to go to B for brush, I for insert, and I'm just going to grab insert cylinder extrusion this tube cylinder um, insert brush here. Now we're accustomed to maybe using this to draw pipes that go from point A to point B, but if we have an existing curve here and I have this brush selected, if I just click on the curve, it's going to add that piping around each instance of that tube. See that? Let's go ahead and turn solo off so we can see the rest of the suit. So if I zoom out, see now we've got this nice sort of tubing going around the, um, the whole surface. Now if I go to my brush depth control here and turn depth down, the curve is still active. So if I click the curve again, it's going to update and that's going to countersink that deeper into the surface. So I can actually control how deep this goes just by using my depth control here. If I turn it down again and then touch the curve, you see that it's pushed in and further. Let's really push that. Let's bring it down really far and then we'll touch the curve again. And there you can see it's really sunk it down. So we can have total control over exactly where that's hitting on the surface. So if I'm happy with that, I'll just click somewhere where there's not a curve and now that has been created as geometry. So I'll clear my masking and there we go. Now I'm going to select the inner suit just by alt clicking on it and I want to do the same thing here but I want to create sort of a tubing um, uh, hem that goes around the neckline, something that maybe a, a helmet might attach to. So if I do the same thing, I go to the stroke menu under curve functions, frame mesh, and I'll use border. So you see that that's framing all the borders, but it's also grabbing these borders here. So what I'll need to do is just tap somewhere off the model, off the curves, just to get rid of that. Oops, let's undo that. I only want this particular hole to be framed. So I'm going to go ahead and go to frame mode. Now you see that there is no, 
there are no polygroups here. So what I will do is I will just create a new polygroup by zooming in here and I'm going to turn my surface noise off so I can see my polygrouping. I'm going to go to B for brush, S for select and select select and select the select lasso brush. Click OK. Now with select lasso if I press control shift and then click on that edge loop I can hide that loop and now I will go to polygroups group visible there we go and I will now be able to control shift click on the blue polygroup to hide it revealing just that polygroup now I'll go back to stroke frame mesh and I can do uh, border or I can do polygroup or I can do creased edges um, I'll go ahead and do polygroup frame mesh we zoom in here get a stroke frame mesh there you go you see now we're getting a border at, or a curve along that polygroup we're not getting it on all the other pieces and parts so now if I click on there I can now add my sort of uh, tubing that runs around the neckline but I want to go back to my depth control set this back to zero I'll set the embed to zero and I'm going to turn my draw size up on my brush and then I'll click that curve again so now it's kind of a bigger chunkier sort of neckline on there so it looks like something that you might have on a spacesuit so I'll turn solo off and control click and drag to clear my masking and I'll go back to my surface and turn my noise back on now if I want to get rid of the curve just tap somewhere on the model where there is no curve and the curve will go away I'll control shift click to hide the the tubing which is a separate piece and I will go to subtool split split hidden now I can divide this suit up a couple more times and then I can go to my surface noise and just apply to mesh and that will apply that noise to the mesh itself so that's how we can use frame mesh to take a curve and frame specific areas to add detailing to it so I'll show you this is where we where I took it originally so I'm working on this spacesuit for this alien and I was able to go in here and isolate all these individual panels and create this piping and this detailing which helped accentuate and give that extra little bit of detail to just those areas so I hope you found this tip helpful and maybe you can use it in your own workflow. Enjoy the rest of the ZBrush Summit. I'm Maddie Spencer and thanks for watching.